Welcome to Family Business World. I'm your host, Dr. Dale Caldwell, and we have a dynamic duo of guests here. So we have uh, 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 Frank and Francisco, and so uh, FS, it's FS Digital. And so, um, so first, before we uh, say for the audience, what does FS Digital do? What, what are some of the things you do? And then I want to kind of get into your background. All right. So it's um, basically a technology company. Okay. We build website, web app, and also mobile app. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Also, we give all other support in terms of uh, technology if, it, okay. if it's needed. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So you're technology experts. And so, yes. so how did you get into, um, you know, I know you're originally from the Dominican Republic. That's correct. Um, but yeah, tell me the background. Uh, you know, where did you grow up? How did you get an interest in, in technology? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, let me give you a little bit of detail about how we uh, build the business. So I started first in my country, Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. So when I was there, I had a friend who we created a, a, um, an application for business administration, for um, school administration. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. How so, long ago? When, when did you? What year uh, did you well, that? Uh, that was 13 years ago. Okay. Because, oh, really? wow. yeah, that's what we have in the country. Um, and then, uh, well, two years before coming, we have 13 years actually here. Mm -hmm. So when I was there, we created the business. It was uh, everything good. Mm -hmm. Except that in that time, you know, I was reading that book from um, Donald Trump and other guys, uh, Robert right. Kiyosaki, about right. uh, father, rich father, poor right, father. Yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah, have yeah, financial right. dead, freedom. Dead, right, yeah. So I came up with the idea of a friend of mine to create a new business. Then I have a sponsorship from my mother to right. get the petition. Uh, to come here to United States. So before, and then, you know, we'll talk to Francisco, but how did you get into technology? Were you a kid? Were you a dad? Did you always like uh, technology? No, I just, uh, I just want, I, I wanted to be a doctor, actually. Really? Oh, <laughs> and then, but I'm coming in a third world country, and mm -hmm. it's kind of expensive to be a doctor. Right. So the first thing you need to do is get a job right. in order to get money to the income to the house. Wow. So that's why I came up uh, starting uh, technology. And you just taught and, yourself? And, and you, you no, no, no. I went to the university. Okay. Um, the, it's called UMFU. Okay. Um, it's uh, one of the main universities in my country, and okay. I was uh, graduated for computer science okay. over there. Okay. Yeah. The, and so now, Francisco, so you were born in the Dominican Republic, too, and, yes. and you grew up with your dad. Yeah. And, and did you get kind of the entrepreneurial instinct from him? Or? Yeah, yeah, so that's actually where it came from. Right. Um, so after we immigrated here, I kind of always had the feeling that I wanted to do computer science. I was always into video games. I was okay. always into technology. Okay. Um, but as I was going through college and everything else, I would always talk to him right. as, you know, as I'm growing and like, what, what am I really going to do with my life? Right. And he always, you know, sort of gave me his two cents of wisdom, right. always right. just, hey. So I got that sense that I wanted financial freedom right. through him. Right. Um, and then, so after attending Stockton University. Oh, Stockton, so here, here in Jersey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So yeah. I went to school here, like very local uh, at Stockton University, right. graduated from computer science too, and that's okay. that's when we started uh, the business. We, had, uh, we have another uh, <coughs> business partner okay. who I met at Stockton University as well, and then all three of us got together. And to be part of it. And so, yeah. so coming from the Dominican Republic, how did you pick Jersey? How did you decide that this family was here? Well, I had that? some uh, family here. My mother was here, my father, and some brothers. Okay. okay. So when I came here, I came with the idea of having a new business right. over here. But, you know, you have something in mind when you come over yeah, here, yeah, the, the, the reality <laughs> is different. <laughs> yeah. So I had to face the reality that I didn't speak the language. Right. The so you really didn't speak different. much English no, when you came? No, just wow. a little word, you know, you learn so a couple of basic words. Right. So I had to um, postpone for a couple of years because I had to f uh, provide for my family. Right. So I had to go to ACC Community College okay. to learn the language and also to um, uh, get more knowledge about uh, my career. So okay. I, I, okay. I got a training for three years for database specialist design. Wow. I was doing that there, but I improved it in, in here. So now, so not knowing English, how did you, how were you able to do the technology courses where you're learning, learning it, English? I'm, I'm, so I'm trying to learn Spanish. Yes. It's, it's hard when you're older to, to learn it. Because you knew the, the basic, uh, um, basic concept. Yeah, okay. And, and I learned that from, you know, the basic concept. Because computer concept, science is computer science, right? It's yes. A, so it's, yeah, so it's and, a, and in uh, fact, yeah. you, you don't learn uh, in Spanish, when you say hardware, right, software, right. Okay, or yeah. form, you don't say it in Spanish yeah. because you, you, when you study, you know the term in English. Yeah. 
But the basic conversation, I needed, I didn't know how to do that. So I have to say. start from scratch. Mm -hmm. And I remember I had to take a job driving in a, in a truck. Oh, really? Oh, really? As a delivery. Right, right. Because I pay, need to, to pay provide. Your bills. Yes, yeah. I need to provide for him yeah. and my yeah. family. So, and, and then I remember driving and I was in the parkway just watching everything and saying, oh, uh, I having a conversation with myself uh -huh. about scenes that I see. Right. And when I got stuck in some word, I said, okay, let me write it down and uh, let me go and look the translation in English. And right. when I came back the other day, I know how to say that. Right. And then in right. that time I was improving and improving. Right. So during that period of time, I was um, learning the courtier, learning um, the language and everything. So I was, um, he was uh, growing up, uh -huh. so he uh, became a professional. So, so you from, spoke English from, yes. from, from your little in Spanish, yes. right? In Spanish. Uh, so I, when we moved here, I didn't know any English. Right, okay. Uh, I was around 11, so okay. you know, I, I was in fifth, fifth sixth grade, okay. so I learned it from sixth grade up. Okay. Um, but obviously okay. it's a little easier when you're younger. Right. Yes. Right. You're, in the, yes. you're in school and everything, so that really helps. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, yeah. Were, were you were you picked on not speaking English? Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so really, I was. So really. when when we came here, when we came here, I remember uh, when they we pick they would pick me up, and uh, I, I used to tell them like, don't speak Spanish to me. Like, oh, really? I, like really? don't speak Spanish to me. Like, only yeah. English. Wow. Just because it, you know, you're. I was pretty much the only kid who was an immigrant in my in my class. So really, it was right. very very. So different. it wasn't that diverse of a school district. No, it wasn't. It wasn't okay. a very diverse school district. But right. you know, it's not like it was. Everything was bad. Yeah, uh, of course, it, it was yeah, just yeah, yeah. kids. They're curious. What, 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 they want to know what, what, why well, things kids, are different. So. Exactly. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. Kids. You know, pick on different. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And they pick yes. on. It's just uh, yeah. just human nature to pick on different. So. Yeah. Uh, so again, and, and, and so we have a wide variety of audience. We have young people, old people, people, immigrants, and others. And so that's why the story is so important. Yes. You know, really yes. story is so important. So, so one of the things I'm hearing is that going into technology, if you don't speak the language, you come here. Maybe yeah. a great way. Obviously, technology is amazing to get into to begin with. Right. So, yes. But, uh, but that's good. So, all right. So you learned that. You were driving a truck. And, and so what was the first kind of bit technology business that you started here after after that? Okay, so then I, I always, I was doing that, but I was focused on what was going to be my role in the society. Right. I, I knew what I wanted. Right. So, and let me tell you, I cried several times when I was mm. driving, like a couple of questions came to my mind, like right. what I'm doing here. Right. And right. I'm still get emotional when right. I talk about that because it was really hard. You know, we had a good job in there and, um, established family come over here to wow. almost start from start scratch. from scratch. Yeah. Start, start from and, scratch. And then um, I start talking to him when he grew up. He uh -huh. graduated from Stockton. Yeah. I was telling him uh, from a long time ago, um, this is the best way to get your financial freedom. Right. Le right. Let's do this. So we created a small business, and then when we uh, created that. He asked me about uh, another friend uh -huh. who we included him in the in the business. In the business, okay. And then eventually, uh, my wife, uh, who had experience in account receivable, okay. Account, oh, good. Okay, good. So she was included. Okay. My niece is a network security developer. Oh my goodness. She was included. Well, nice. We have another uh, nephew. Okay. That was included also. So it's a real family. So, family and business. then that that's how we start. Um, creating a business as a family. Wonderful. Now you didn't marry your wife because she had account receivable. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> right, so having your own business. Do you? you didn't say. No, 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 no that's, yeah. uh, no, that's great. My mom's a woman of many talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah so many women. So many women are. And so, um, and, and, all right. So, so you start to, to do that, and so you're doing network security too stuff now, or, or no? Uh, no? We, we don't really focus on cybersecurity okay. as of yet. Okay. So what, uh, what we really focus on is once we bring a business in, and right. we work with a lot of small businesses. Right. Um, once we bring a business into our network and we, you know, make a website for them, bring bring them to the digital age, mm -hmm. um, we have a 100% client retention rate, so they stay with us Advice. for us managing their website. Wonderful. So that's when we bring them onto our servers. We provide all the security, maintenance, hosting, and everything. Okay. And that's the way that we protect. But we don't. If somebody from an outside network sort of comes into us, we're not at that space yet where we right. provide cybersecurity yet. Interesting. The yeah. so it's a very competitive space. How do you how do you differentiate yourself? How do you stand out? You're doing websites and other yes. things. What, um, what do you guys that's do? A, that's another good question because uh, this type of business is not like. Uh, 
a beauty salon right, or right, something right. like that, that you go in there and if you don't like it or you don't have trust in that business, right, right. you just spend in a hundred, two hundred dollars and that's it. You right. don't come back. And you don't it. come back. Right. But, but for us, when we're talking about a couple of uh, bucks, substantial bucks, like right. 20, 10,000, right. people need to know who we are. Right. So, and then we have to build trust in right. there. That's one thing. And you build trust by uh, doing a good job for them, mm -hmm. saying, if, if I told you this, I'm going to accomplish this. Right. If I promise you something, right. I'm going to do what I said. Right. That's one thing. And, and also, you know, doing uh, hard work, discipline, right. and all those um, uh, things that, is that what we do really to earn that trust? Yeah. Trust is the main Tr key tr here. Trust is everything. The, right. yeah. uh, there's a guy named Stephen Covey Jr. His dad wrote The Seven Habits, but he has a book called The Speed of Trust. Yeah. And so he says that everything is, is trust, and if you yes. have the trust. Right. Um, and so, um, so that's, that's, that's fantastic. And so, um, as you are, are building the websites, you know, what are some of the unique things that you put in there that, you know, that kind of make you stand out? Right. So um, we always say, that, so a lot of people that come to us when we talk to them and they're like, oh, I have a website. My son built the website. Right, right, yeah. And we're like, yeah, that, that's, that's great. But, right. you know, we're experts right, in, in right. building websites. We, we like to call all our creations pixel perfect almost. Right, oh, wow. we, we really care about, we're geeks at the end of the day. Like, yes, yeah. I, I, I'm a nerd when it comes to, like, performance speed right. and everything. Right. And I know that our developers are as well. They, they really care about having something tailor-made for the business. We don't take a template and just throw pictures on it and it's, right. it's done. Like we, we actually sit with the clients and make sure that what they're getting is actually what they want. Really? Um, and so whenever a picture's out of, slightly out of place, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll spend days like wow. trying to figure out exactly the best placement, the best performance and everything of, of that sort. So we, I know everybody says that they, they, they you know, they, they put their best into it, but we really, that's, that's our foundation just. What, interesting. Well, and, and so, I mean, so many businesses, so, you know, I run this Rothman Institute of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at Fairleigh Dickinson University, so we work with a wide variety of businesses. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how many businesses really don't have a website, or if they do, it's right. just a very basic thing. Yes. yes. So there's a lot of opportunity out there. 100%, yeah. A lot yeah. of opportunity. Yeah. And, and, yeah. They, and obviously, mm -hmm. you, you speak Spanish, <coughs> probably in the, in the Spanish community as well. Yes. Exactly. You do a lot of, you have a lot of clients. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, the, the website, some, some business, a small business, sometimes they don't want to spend money in their website. Right. They think they are spending money. Right. But the thing is that uh, the website is like your business card in yeah. today's day. Yeah, in today's. So, it's an so, investment. It's an investment. It's not an expense. We, we right. have uh, experience with some client that they have a very, very small one person just doing maintenance right, of right. any uh, type of thing like boat, cleaning boat, something right. like that. Mm -hmm. And then he was just around without any website. We mm -hmm. built it and we gave him a corporate uh, visual light, you know, that right. people can right. see that he's a, a very uh, professional, something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, today having a website is, mm -hmm. is almost, um, yeah. It's in, um, I don't know how to say, in, in prescindible. In, um, uh, like it's irreplaceable. It's yeah. irreplaceable. Yeah. It's, it's, you, you it's have, irreplaceable. Yeah. No, you have to, and a quality website. It's not just yeah. good enough just to have, right, yeah. you know, something up there. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a, a short commercial break, right. and then we're going to come right back and, and continue this, this discussion. And you do apps as well, so we'll talk some about apps. Absolutely. So. Okay. Absolutely. Excellent. We'll see you in a, uh, right after the commercial break. Aloha, Joe Silva here with Kakua Technologies. I'm excited to see you on Tuesdays on Morning Coffee for our tech tips. Let's face it, lawyers get a bad rap. I'm Erin Bruschi, host of Legal Breakdown, where we dissect legal topics for the everyday viewer with a mix of interesting guests to talk about current events and hot legal topics. Let's work together to make the law accessible and relevant to everyone. Catch us every week on RVN Television. A stroke can be easy to detect. A loved one can't speak. Perhaps they can't move. But there's another sign of a stroke that many of us can't see. 
It's called spatial neglect, and it can occur during or after a stroke, causing distorted visual movements. Fortunately, there's a solution by using optical prism technology during rehabilitation. If you or a loved one have experienced a stroke, ask your doctor about spatial neglect. Spatial neglect. See the whole picture at KesslerFoundation.org. Welcome back to Family Business World. We're having a, a wonderful conversation uh, about FNS Digital, about websites, and, uh, um, and we'll talk some about, about app, apps. Um, but we were just talking about the pandemic. And so uh, you were founded in 2018, you know, then you hit this thing in 2020. And, and, and how, how did you work the business? How did you grow the business or, or, did, right. you, or did you struggle? Yeah, so in 2019, um, we actually had a connection with a client uh, who runs a film festival. Mm. Uh, it's the Garden State, uh, Garden State Film Festival. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and we had done a little bit of back-end maintenance on them. Uh, right. We did their website, and then we created a portal for filmmakers to submit their films to the festival. Oh, so really? That, okay. Yeah. So we did that in 2019. 2020, when the pandemic hit, we had to brainstorm a way to have the show go on right uh, because it was going to get canceled like, right, like everything right, else right so we created a platform where they could f uh, stream all the films that we had built the platform for to to get okay. all the files and uh we live stream all the films wow uh <laughs> and the show went on so wow that's yeah. that's, that's pretty and then then your reputation preceded you so yeah from, had, oh, these yeah. guys can do anything exactly so um, from there we, we really found our, our footing we really right. we, we knew what we were good at from that point forward right right yeah. and that that kind of gave you confidence as mm -hmm. well as a network absolutely the, uh, so talk about you know people know websites people don't always know how important it is to have a really really good website but you do apps as well Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So where, where, and how can a small business use an app? What's an example mm -hmm. of, a, of a business using an app? That's perfect. So yeah. there's yeah. there's two types of apps that we primarily work with. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I mentioned before, there's uh, web apps, right. which are run on on uh, browser, like okay. Google Chrome, Safari, okay. um, and those are primarily for things that websites can't do. Okay. So uh, on your desktop, you think of Netflix almost uh, right. as you don't think of it as an app, right? But it's a web app because it's not a website. You can stream. There's there's right. extra functionality. There's an extra layer of functionality to it. Um, and then we talk about mobile apps, which are the apps that you can download onto your your phone. Your phone, right? Um, and places and events like like festivals right. or art galleries or things of that nature, touring. They we've really found uh, a niche in that 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 space okay. of making. Uh, you know, apps that are infor more informational right. uh, that a lot of people don't think of, of seeing. So a lot of people might download an app for right. a map or right. uh, any sort of event guide or something okay. like that. So, so, so the difference between, how would you characterize the difference between a website and an app? So, you know, so people can kind of understand why, oh, I need an app. You know, yeah. website's not enough. Yeah. I need an app. That, that, that's, yeah. that's a perfect question. So websites primarily are, are more informational. So right. you want to show your business. You want to tell them about yourself, okay. your, your business, your history, what you do, contact form, right. uh, maybe some pictures of your work. Right. Uh, so that's <laughs> primarily the, the small business website space. If you right. need something more like, I, I want my clients to be able to log in and right. pay a bill. Or so it's interactive. So the app is kind of, the, the simple way is yeah. apps are interactive. Yeah, exactly. And, and websites are kind of one way. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. more, yeah more or less. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You can, there's a lot of gray areas in between. But right. yeah, because technology is always pushing forward. Yeah, yeah, so so yeah. a website, there's some websites where we're like, wow, this is really like. Right. But mm -hmm. yeah, essentially a, a website is more static, more one way, whereas right. an app is more interactive. There's more functionality. Interesting, and, and I, I think that that's a real one because most people really don't understand. They know how to use apps. Mm -hmm. They just don't really think about, you know, do I need an app? Right. And that, that kind of interact, you know. And, and so, so the other question too, um, you know, there are some websites which are beautiful and they spend a lot of money, but the bandwidth it takes forever mm -hmm. for them to, yes, to absolutely to yes. talk to me about that because I see a lot of stuff. You go there and it's like yeah. it takes ten minutes to, to yeah. upload. Is yeah. it worth yeah. Yeah. making no, we, that beautiful thing? We really care about uh, like per, like I said before, load times and performance. Yeah, yeah. So we really when we scope out a website, we really pick only <coughs> the best technologies that are able to perform because we take into account legacy computers right. and mm -hmm. you know hardware that might not be right. brand new. Right. So. Yeah, we're, we always test with laptops and mobile okay. phones that okay. are 10 years old and 
five years old just to make sure how it behaves right. and if it doesn't cut it on a older computer then we just don't don't include it you don't include yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah. that's great and again yeah. i i can tell your attention to detail yeah. is is yes. so important so but uh, let yeah. me tell you something uh, regarding the the website uh -huh. people sometimes believe that website is just one type they're right. different in multiple uh, technology mm, and type okay. of website okay right. so for a small business who is starting it doesn't have to start with a big right. uh, website or e-commerce website. Right. You can start with a static website mm -hmm. that people can see picture and see who you are, right. a description of yourself, right. so that people can understand who, what what do you do. What you do, right? And then after that, you can go to a different technology. Mm. Uh, could be uh, for starting WordPress. It's right. a base um, technology right. to do a website informative, mm -hmm. and then you you go from there to different. Uh, improvement for your website right so that's another thing sometimes people say oh I want a website what type of website right, do right, you want right, right. so that's gonna vary in what you want right so right. but it's basically like for starting yes it's like saying I want a car and it's yes. like, well, what kind of car do you want? yes it's depending, like the website depending right. what you do right if you need to carry thing you need a truck Right, right. You see, right. but if you need to a car for personal stuff, just a different car. So yeah, depending exactly. what you want. Yeah, you know. that's yes. a great. That's a great analogy. The, yes. Uh, and so going going back to the apps. And so if I'm a, you know, there are a lot of restaurants that really their websites are not. Right. It's amazing how many restaurants just have the very static, basic yes. website that you can tell yes. hasn't changed mm -hmm. since yes. the seventies. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, now, do they <laughs> use like if I'm doing um, if I'm doing reservations, that's more of an app application. So if I'm going to do a reservation to right. for a restaurant, so we would yeah. like it to be apps. Unfortunately, right. a lot of a lot of restaurants don't invest in their digital presence. So okay. most what most restaurants they're using uh, like cookie cutter solutions. So right one size fits all kind of. Right, right. So you have the you have companies who will go to their the restaurants and imp just ask for the menu, implement a solution. Right. And it doesn't really fit them, but they'll work with it because it works. Right. Kind of. Um, but we in a perfect world we would want every restaurant to sort of every restaurant's website to sort of feel like them. Okay. Um, okay. And you know that's what we're helping to push forward to, okay. to tailor so, tailor make their So solutions. would they have an app as part of that? Kind of an uh, It d depends so if it's more of a, a enterprise uh, a bigger right, uh, right. so for you think of like Starbucks they have an yeah. app cuz they have a loyalty rewards program. Right. There's okay. there's some things that you can get away with just being on a website but like a loyalty rewards right. that sort of thing would be on an app whereas just ordering like mobile ordering they, you could get away with it being on a website. Interesting. The, yeah. uh, so one of the programs that I'm, I'm sorry, a national program is called Entrepreneur Zones. I'm, I'm kind of, my, my dad knew in March with Dr. King, and, and so I'm kind of obsessed with poverty, and the way to reduce poverty is to grow entrepreneurship mm -hmm. to create jobs, yes. which is one of the reasons I'm so, so into. And um, one of the things, we call them E-Zones. So one of the things we're thinking about, and maybe we'll work with you guys, is, is to create a loyalty program, an E-Zone loyalty program. I bought a website, ezones.com. I haven't mm -hmm. populated it. may have you do that, right. where, where, uh, where you want to have retail. Actually, okay. when I, I went to Princeton, and Jeff Bezos was at Princeton the time I was there, and so founder of Amazon. And right. so my thing is, wow. you know, you could do that, but for folks in kind of urban communities and other things. So I may want to talk to you guys wow, about no, that, okay. that's, yeah, that's about nice. really developing this, because... Uh, uh, the potential is, you know, there's so many, and the idea is clusters of businesses, mm -hmm. and we want to do it globally in Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. But that's growing entrepreneurship is really, and and what you guys do can play a critical role, absolutely, in um, in really doing this. So that's why I'm really, really interested in <laughs> in the websites and the, yeah, and yeah. the apps. That and, sounds and like sure. that sounds super. That sounds like yeah, a great yeah, idea. So we'll, we'll definitely yeah. talk about it. So yeah. what's next? You guys are great business. You have a great business, a family business. What's in the future? What are you guys looking to grow to to do? So we really want to, the first thing in the immediate future is we really want to get more involved with the community. Right mm -hmm. now, we're part of a few local chambers of commerce. Okay. okay. And as well as we uh, volunteer during the summers to speak to incoming freshmen at Stockton University. Okay, great. Uh, but we really want to be more involved because uh, right now, you know, all the time that we have as a small team, we dedicate to pushing the business forward. Right. So we want to start giving back uh, right. in certain ways. Uh, so that's in the immediate plans. And then... Uh, obviously, as time moves forward, we want to just continue cultivating the values that we instilled from the beginning right. and just expanding <coughs> outwards. Right. So the values that he talked about with trust and right. yes. discipline, yeah. we want to keep fomenting those and just expanding. Right. Yes, um, uh, that's one of the things that take time to build trust. And 
sometimes when you say, oh, I'm FNS Digital, who you are, right. you know, uh, we want to expand um, in not just South Jersey, but right. all New Jersey and everywhere so that people can know what we are capable of doing. Right. And that they can trust on us. Right. And that take time, not just outside, but within the organization. We have some methodology inside that we use like DevOps and some other right. to make sure that we're going to be able to accomplish what we promise. Wonderful. So it's, it's not that easy. We're working on, hard on that, right. but yeah, to, well, to be easy. strong uh, and, and be able to accomplish everything we said we're going to do. Well, I mean, your story is amazing. And again, as I think about, that's why I'm, as I'm thinking about these E-zones, you know, kind of entrepreneurship is everywhere. Mm -hmm. and, and, but, but so often, Society doesn't help it flourish. Right. Okay. Yes. Yep. Um, and society doesn't help it flourish. You know, and I think that, and, 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 and so often the mindset is, well, you're on your own. Do it your own. You know, yep. pull yourself up by your <laughs> own bootstraps. Yeah. Which is yeah. nonsense. Yeah. nonsense. Yeah, There's no. nobody who has yes. it. Absolutely. You know. And so to begin to help that. So I, I love your story. Unfortunately, we're at the, you know, at the, at the end of time. Um, if people want to get in touch with you, if you uh, let the camera know, what's your web address and what phone number? How do they reach out to you and how do they call you? Yeah, so our website is fsdigitalagency.com and our phone number is 1-800-262-5108. Excellent. Yes, and, and also um, if there's someone in Spanish language that we are right. uh, is, uh, seeing, watching this uh, TV show, uh, I speak Spanish, he oh. speaks Spanish, <laughs> and oh, yeah. you know, it's gonna be easy because sometimes when they want a website, right. but they don't understand the language, right. so we are here to help them to um, uh, understand what they need. And I do a lot of work with the Hispanic Chamber. Yes, they they tell me the stories of, there are so many Spanish-speaking businesses that are behind the scenes. I mean, thousands and thousands. Yes. It, mm -hmm. is, uh, it is an incredible economy. So, so Frank, What's thank you so pleasure? much, San Francisco. Yes. This is it's great. I, think, I have a feeling we're going to be doing some things together. I want yes. to thank you thank all you. for watching Family Business World. We will see you next week.